Hey, welcome back everybody. I hope the audio is coming out good. We've gone ahead and taken our little box cutter and we've gone around our cooler and as you can see, I hope this is coming in well for y'all. We have cut the little squares in our cooler lid. At all four corners we went around and did this. As you can see here. Now, if we get down in here, I hope you guys can see this now. As you can see, these e-glue coolers are completely hollow. The lids are completely hollow. All the foam that they put in their coolers is down here. Okay, but the lids themselves are completely hollow. And this is the problem with these coolers, is that there's no foam in here to help keep when the sun beats down on them, to keep everything in here from melting. So this is the, this is the way I've found that works for me. And you can do this in all coolers. You don't have to just do this on Eagle coolers or Cohen coolers. You can do this in all your coolers that have a hollow lid. And you'll get more out of your cooler and you'll make your ice last longer. And you'll keep your fish fresher. And your bait fresher. Like my live, my live well little bait here, um, cooler, I've been using this now for about four years now. And it is solid and it works great everyone can do this with their regular camping hunting and fishing coolers and it will save you money and it is effective and it does work now on this channel we're not going to be showing you anything that's not going to actually work that we don't use ourselves we're, we can recommend products and things to you but 90 percent of every 99 percent everything that's me on this channel we have been using for years and in fact found out it is most effective that's why i want to share it with y'all to save you all money and time <laughs> okay so let's get started now now that we have all of our corners cut everything's ready and prepped ready to go now you're going to take your foam. Now, before I do this, I want to explain. You don't have to start in the back or the front. You can start at any corner you wish. Now, you put the, you put the applicator in here through the, through the square. You put it in as far as you can go, and you begin to, and you begin to release the foam into the cooler. In, to the cooler, excuse me. Now, when you're, when, as you're doing this, you are going to see foam pour out here. It's going to pour out. Do not panic, okay? It's not going to hurt the outside of your cooler, okay? It's not going to hurt your driveway, like the paint has done from my daughters, okay? So it's not going to hurt your driveway. If you prefer, you can put some, um, you know, a newspaper down or an old rag towel or something if you prefer, but it's not going to hurt anything, I assure you. Now, when you start filling, and you see the foam pouring out, that's what you want now. You want to see that foam expanding on all corners. If you don't see it coming out the corners, okay, you want to keep spraying more foam in there because you want to make sure that you have a good application and it's going to fill in all the grooves in there and get all those little nicks and crannies and get all that air out of there. And it's just gonna be solid foam, okay? That's why in all these older coolers, as you can see, we've done this already and it has worked great. Now this is solid. This is, th that foam is solid in there, okay? So when we do this with this new cooler, you're going to see now. Now watch here. We're gonna start here in this corner here, put it in as far as it can go, and just start squeezing. Here it comes. You wanna see that. Don't worry if some comes out, it's okay. Now, come around over here, do the next one. You can hear it, you can hear the foam coming in. Get all those crannies. Come around over here, and you wanna do the same thing. Stick the plunger in all the way. Make sure you get a good seal, and start filling. You're going to want to see the foam now coming out, like I said. When the foam starts coming out in a regular flow, that means it's filling those, all those gaps in there. Keep going. Now we're going to come over here. Oopsies. Got some on my fingers. That happens. Don't worry. If you get some on your fingers, it will come off with um, rubbing alcohol. So 
or paint thinner if you have paint thinner available and you don't have any rubbing alcohol it will come off rubbing alcohol off your fingers or your hand rubbing alcohol a little bit of paint thinner it won't not hurt you okay now as you can see the foam is starting to flow neatly out of all four corners that's what we wanted to see we want to see the foam coming out okay because that means it's doing its job it's getting all the air in there it's pushing all the air out and it's filling in those gaps that had the air now with the foam which is what you want to see now if we did not have these corners cut now all this foam would be actually turning to a liquid mush right now it would not be expanding the way it is because there's no way for air to get in there to allow this foam to begin to force and fill up okay that's why 90% of the time when you see some of these videos on YouTube where people are springing and just freely into their kayaks or their bow fishing floats and things like that um, it doesn't work because they don't have enough air in there okay again this is not you know two-part marine foam we're talking about here this is um, great stuff from your local harbor store so if you want to use it effectively you've got to make sure you leave room for it to expand because otherwise it's not going to do its job as you can see it's it's coming out all on its own we're not touching it it's doing its job now you're going to want to leave your cooler in the sun doing this which is something i should have mentioned earlier guys i do apologize i'm autistic so bear with me if you're new to the channel um, what you guys want to do is do this on a hot day. Don't try to do this on a cloudy day or, for instance, um, a day where you're going to have a lot of moisture in the air. Um, it won't be as effective because the foam will not have a chance to heat up and reach that temperature that it needs and get more expanding. The hotter this foam gets in the sun, the more it is going to expand. That's just, that's just the way it works. And um, I like to do it on a very sunny day. Um, and allow the sun to beat down on it and really get that lid hot. Now, the sun is still coming up right now because I wanted to get here early to do this video for y'all. And as you can see, the foam is still doing its job. It is pushing itself and filling up that lid. Now, don't forget, we still got a full can here, so if you had another cooler, you could probably do two coolers out of one can. Each one of these cans at your local hardware store probably cost between 5 and $7 a can, and it is definitely worth it, because as you can see, it will put foam in your hollow fishing cooler lid and make it work for you, and you'll get more out of it. And you'll save money in the long run, because this thing really... This foam really does add an extra security to the top part of your cooler there and allows that, that cooler to really hug that ice and hold on to it for a lot longer. And it does in fact work and I use it as you can see in all of my coolers. Okay everybody, what we're going to do now is just let this let this sit in the sun for a good hour two hours and then we're going to check on it and i will show you then how we finish it up stay tuned <laughs> 